This is our family's home base. This is the place that they, that they can um, get access to showers and laundry facilities. And they have a kitchen here and a living room here and they have a private space to keep personal items. So this is essentially where they keep and manage everything. We uh, work with families for up to 90 days. Um, while they're in shelter, we offer them um, educational opportunities as far as parenting, life skills, um, financial literacy courses, and then they meet with our case manager weekly with the goal that they're going to exit our emergency shelter into long-term permanent housing within 90 days. We essentially have served families pretty consistently since we opened five years ago, and we have served, I think, 62 total families. Our area is made up of about 30 faith congregations. Um, uh, that provide the actual shelter service for our families and so that they sleep in the churches. Um, they Each family is made a room, they, they make a room up for each family. Our goal essentially, no matter what situation they, they are in, is to bring them in and say, this is what we can offer you, this is the support that we can give you, and this is what our goal is for you. Avenues for Hope is our safety net, which allows us to be a safety net for our families. Um, and I think that um, I don't know what we would do without them, to be honest with you. It helps us know that we're safe. It helps us know that we are, we're going to be able to provide for another year. This is our funding. This is more than half of our annual budget. It, it, you know, we know that our salaries are going to get paid. We know that, um, you know that our families are going to get the help that they need and the services that they need while they're here. And then it also allows for us to really um, access some of those grants in our community to really do other growth-related activities. Um, and uh, project activities. This is how we this is how we make things work.